Where the heck is my phone? Mm. Just waiting for. We can see my in the background. Dang. I'm just. Okay, I'm just waiting for some more people to come in here before I get started. Oh, you know my phone is. Cause what just hit it? Okay. Um. For people that's just coming in here, like. I have conditioner in my hair in case you're wondering what this is. So just know it's conditioner and I know it's there, obviously. So who's in here? Okay, Detroit. Um, I know it's kind of late before I, you know, go on live right now. If I'm low, y'all, I'm, I'm in my work chair, my my um i'm in my work desk or whatever so i'm trying to be eye level and i know i look crazy because <laughs> i did my brows but i was bored hey zari i haven't seen the world so how you doing girl? how the kids so i guess i have a few people in here i'll get started so i had the urge to go live right now um i just i wanted to uh, I wanted to say something to somebody. I don't know who. I'm just led to go for live right now, and I just wanted to be of encouragement to somebody because that's what I do. That's what's true to my heart, and that's who I am as a person. I want to be of service to people, you know. And it might sound crazy in this day and age, but I do. Anyway, so I've been on this little self. Uh, discovery journey discovering who I am you know in this world full of copycats in this world full of everybody want to be the same and I know I'm meant to stand out I'm meant to be different you know and I've always been very different so I wanted to uh, just put something out there for people who may feel like me or you know know someone like me that it's okay to feel different. It's okay to be you when everybody else is like the same. You know how social media is right now. Everybody look the same. Everybody, you know, following the same. They follow in the same companies. They follow in the same celebrities. And they so caught up and care about the celebrities. Like that stuff with the Jesse smaller stuff. I'm just like, why y'all care so much? People was really going crazy about that. The R. Kelly stuff. But I feel like that's all distraction they do that stuff because they know what grabs people what moves people just be so quick to jump on the bandwagon or whatever but i feel like if you focus and if you hear that in the background like that beep and that's my um my speaker in the background but i feel like everybody this day and age just so everybody just want to be like everybody else they want to be so doggone um copycats and what i've been learning in the last few days is that when you stand out and you meant to be different you're not going to want to be like everybody else. And you you know, because I'm not going to lie. I did go through that phase, whatever, you know, of uh, being a follower and everything like that. But I was better than all that. You know, I was better than all that. So I was thinking about going live on here since Facebook is, you know, the thing I'm, I'm I, well, I'm not on it that much anymore, but the platform that I use the most of as far as on social media. So I feel like somebody out there will use this to their advantage, you know, and it will help them because I had to pray and ask God to remove people from around me and remove, you know, people around me for temptation and stuff like that. You know, and um, you can see all my setup in the background. You can see everything. To remove that kind of stuff from me because that's just a temptation. And I don't want that around me. Anyway, um, as some of, you, some of you may know, I do have a second page that I do go live on in the morning. Which usually be around... Four in the morning 
Chicago time. So um, I go on there and I do I do my makeup obviously. Uh, and I do I do talk like this. I talk about encouraging things too, but I want to do it on this page even though I feel like this page when I had this page when I first had this page and I made it and before I was married, you know. Um, it was like a lot of people. It was like a lot of guys. It's a lot of guys on here. And I just want to reach out to people, you know, not the superficial people, not the people who is just, you know, all into this thing where, you know, if you follow me, if you're my friend, let's be there for a reason and be there to be of a service because I want to be of service to people too. And I'm just, I'm just on this journey that's gonna separate me from a lot of people, even my own family, some of my own family, it's gonna separate me. And I'm okay with that because the end justifies the mean, you know? And I wanna be somewhere, like as far as my walk with Christ and and just, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go that route. So, when it's all said and done, whatever you're going through, and even though it may seem like that you, you know, at a dead end, or it may seem like that there's no way out, or it just seemed like you alone. You're never alone. Know that you're never alone, and know that uh, people in your life, people come through your life, you know, they pass through, and some people there forever, and some people not, but just know that they're for a reason, and that you are, you have the potential to be more than what you think you are. We groomed as people, we groomed from kids to get up, work, get a job, and just be just be this robot for the rest of your life. But I feel like for me that I have a much bigger purpose than that, a much bigger purpose. And that's what journey I'm on right now. Uh, you know, that's what I'm at right now. Because I know that can't be it. I know we was not born to, we wasn't born just to born, live, I mean, to be born, to live, and to die. Uh, you, you, we wasn't born for that. We all had an assignment at birth. And that's what I'm trying to figure out what mine is. I do know one, I just, I do know it's drawn me to, to some degree. Because one thing that's been with me for a long time in my life is, it's been very important for me to, encourage um to encourage young women to encourage women but i find myself talking to men as well who you know may be going through something or whatever i know like encouraging people and um motivating people is something that i really want to do so I've been listening to a lot of stuff and doing a lot of reading. More reading than I usually do because I'm not the type to really, you know, want to read by choice. But now I'm, I am because I'm on this journey. And it's a lonely journey because a lot of people won't understand you. A lot of people, you know, they just stuck and they don't want to change. And as you all know, if you don't know, I'm 32. I just turned 32. And I just, I just know it's more for me. And I don't know what it is, but I just know it is. So I want to just, I want to help somebody. Like, if, booby, get in the bed now. Okay, that was my son. Uh, I just want to be of help to somebody. And I want just whoever, uh, you know, I want y'all to know that y'all have a purpose. People get so caught up and it's so easy to get distracted. It's so easy. Even your own kids can be a distraction. Even your your family, even your job is a distraction. But what I did learn recently is that your job is just your job. Your job is what somebody pay you, what they think you worth. We was not born to have a social security number and a job. We wasn't born just to do that. And I, you know, I'm not trying to put my beliefs on anybody. Who don't believe I but I don't believe I came from a monkey. I don't believe I came from a salamander. I don't believe like just like boom happened like this. It you know it, it's a, it's a lineage, you know. And I don't want to force anything on anybody else, but I'm saying for me, what I learned is that it's, it's everything's for a reason. We born 
And we have to die. So you got to question and wonder what you're doing with your life. What are you doing? And where you want to go? That's the question you got to figure out. And uh, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Yeah, your job is just that. It's supposed to, it's, it should catapult you to where you want to be. Uh, what I was, I heard like recently, they were saying if your job does not push you towards or help you get to your purpose or where you're supposed to be at, then don't just take a job for a salary. Listen, even you, you know, you talk, you know, sometimes our parents did not know, you know, they didn't know, but you talk to, you know, get this job and stay in this job, you know? I've been a job, I work a government job. Um, I, you know, I work for a government job. And people are just assume that, oh my God, like, oh, you have a great job, never leave there. And, you know, I've been there, I've been at this job for six years. Six years. It's crazy. Uh, six years. And I don't, I know that I just don't, but I do not feel, I don't. I don't feel like I belong there. And not because I've been there six years, but I always felt like, not that I'm better than nobody else, but that I'm, I'm meant to take a different path. You know, I'm good at what I do. Oh, very well spoken. Isaac, you ran into me? When did you run into me? Anyway, uh yeah, I've been there six years and you know your people are like, oh you got a good government job, you got a good job and everything like that. But for me, I need fulfillment. For me, where I'm at in my life, I want fulfillment. I don't want to do things just the regular way. People, you know, you work this job, like they say, you work this job for 30, 40 years, you retire and they give you a watch. Excuse me. Excuse me. That is not what I was born to do. And I just want y'all to know, I want y'all to believe that too, especially my African-American sisters and brothers. I want y'all to know that, seriously, that it's bigger, it's more than that. And whatever our purpose is, it's bigger than us. You know, you gotta remember that it's bigger than us. We not, we wasn't here, we wasn't born here, we wasn't bought here just to do everything for ourselves and never be of service to anybody else. Never hurt, any, never, I said hurt, never help anybody else. We was not here for that. We wasn't born and bought into this world for that. And I do believe that. I do believe that everything happens for a reason. And I do believe the paths we go in life is for a reason. A lot of things I definitely did not understand and question you know a lot of stuff but in the end we don't have all the answers we definitely don't have all the answers but we do have we have the path to take you know depending on which which one you choose you know where your life where is your life headed where do you want to be you know i know right now everybody into you know just everything and it's just, sometimes it's, it's just it's too much it's like Everybody going down path B, or put everybody going down path A, but you want to go down path B, but that's a lonely path. That's a super lonely path because you're by yourself. You know, you don't have a lot of friends and people who understand who you want to be and line up. They line up with your life. They line up with what you want to do. You know, sometimes when you to yourself or you quiet or you don't do the things everybody else do, you... You a lame, you like, you a church. You know, people say, oh, you a, uh, you a, you know, like making fun of like church people. You this and you that. Everything but what's positive and what you can be and what they can be. So that's why I took a break. I took a break from social media because it can definitely change you if you're not strong in your mind. And it took a lot of courage before to even come on these platforms and come on here being my being me being myself because before you know people was very they very very ignorant 
And not in a derogatory way. Because they don't know. That's what ignorance means. You don't know. Ignorant and closed-minded. You know, and not one to broaden their horizon and want more than what's right in front of them. So, I want to keep y'all long, but that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to say, stop worrying about, what's that guy? Jesse, Jesse. Stop worrying about R. Kelly. Stop worrying about how many people like your stuff. Stop worrying about trying to be the baddest, all that stuff. And don't call yourself a B word. Don't call yourself that because it's a lot of history. You know, it's a lot of history behind a whole lot of stuff. But if you're a woman, be classy. Be, hold yourself right. You know, carry yourself in a certain manner. You know, and make sure you always remember to Remember to always try to help somebody, uplift somebody. So as much as you, you know, maybe opening a door or telling someone that you know is going through, it's gonna be okay. Or you're gonna be okay. Or God, God is what God got you. Or it's gonna be okay. You never know what people are going through. You never know depression because it sneaks up on you. I was sitting up. I was sitting up in my room. This is like my office slash, you know, beauty room too. I was sitting up here like a couple of weeks ago, out of nowhere. I was crying for nothing. I didn't even know why. But I was in a dark place. And people assume that people meet you and they think that, oh, you this and you that. But they meet you where you at now. They don't know where you've been. One day I want to I wanna share my story, but not in this format. It's going to be in a different format. But I find it very interesting because there's so many people in the world, they have so many stories and everybody don't have the white picket fence and the, you know, just everything that's described in books that don't really happen for a lot of people like that, didn't, you know? So with that being said, I was feeling, you know, I was like, what the heck is wrong with me? You know? And I was like, you know, I feel like, man, what if I'm depressed and I don't even know it? And you in this place, you know? I used to be like, I'm not gonna say not too far ago, but you know, I was into different kind of stuff. I like, I liked different things. Like I watched reality TV, you know, all kind of music, all that kind of stuff, everything like that. But then I realized in order to be the person you wanna become, you have to take away things in your life that you used to and you that's make you comfortable in your comfort zone. You gotta take away those things and replace them because we naturally born with negative tendencies. We naturally born knowing how to lie, knowing how to be deceitful. That's kids. Look at your kids, if you got kids, they they will lie about anything. My son two years old and he lies. And he can't even really talk. Well he talked but not like fully. You know, so we have to learn to, uh, we have to train our minds as much as we can because I am a very analytical person. I'm very cerebral and sometimes that works against me. And it has worked against, it has worked against me because it makes me a perfectionist and everything else. But that's a deep, that's deeper. You know, when you struggle from perfectionism, it's a deeper problem than that. And it's not, you know, it's deeper than that. Um, so one day, I want to share my story. I feel like I have to do that in order for, to start my journey. But I'm not going to do it here. So I want y'all just to be, you know, keep up with me or whatever. And I think we go live every, not every day, but more often than usual. And, uh... <laughs> um, I think we'll go more live. I got, I have conditioner everywhere. I think we'll go more, more live than usual. I have a lot of journals. You can see back here, I don't know. I have a lot of journals. Let me tell you, let me give you a good thing. If you want to start, um, start somewhere, get you like a journal. Something that's, that's a stimulant for you. 
and get you to thinking and get you in a place to make you start growing, you know, because we got to grow from where we are. We cannot be the same. So I have to tell you, what you did when you was 31, you should, not, you should still not be doing at 32 and 33. Not everything. What you did at 21, you should still not be doing at 25. I mean, we should be evolving. You know, we're the same person we was at birth. Nothing is different. We just grew. So we should still be growing, not just physically, but also mentally. That's important. And I just want to help anybody out there that I can. Because with social media these days, you can reach a lot of people. You know, for make sure it's for the, you know, the right reasons or whatever. So that's where I'm at. I don't know where it's gonna go, but somebody needs to hear it. Yeah, it's a it's a reason why I want to go here and it's it's a reason. I don't know who it is, but whoever needs it, you need it. If you ever wanna talk, if you ever got questions for me, if you ever got any like you ever wanna ask me something or want me to touch on a subject, I will I'ma put my email in here. Hold on. I'm going to put my email in here, and you could email me, and it could be anonymous, and uh, I will respond to you. So I'm about to pin my email down here. I hope this, let's see, okay, let's see. How do you, how do you, um, Okay. So, and this is me on my shirt, y'all. This is from when I was doing my makeup stuff some years ago, you know, whatever. So, I pinned my email below. I hope I did that right. Is it iCloud? Is it iCloud? Anybody just coming in, it's conditioner right here. Uh, I think it's iCloud. Oh, wait. Yeah. So I pinned my email below. You got some questions for me. If you got some, you know, questions where I can help you. Don't not questions about if I'm single because I'm not, or if I'm none of that stuff because I don't, I'm married. I ain't got time for none of that stuff. So my email is below. Um, let me know if you got any questions, and I'm here. Um, stay hopeful. Always have hope. Always have hope. When you lose hope, it'll be very dark. Just don't lose hope. Because it's always a way out of something. It's always, yeah. like I was saying, get you like a, this is a planner. I love journals and all that kind of stuff. Um, get you stuff that motivates you, makes you feel good. You know, it makes you want to be more productive. Because that's what we need to be. People, I think people forget that we got an expiration date, and people take for granted, even me, take for granted that we're going to be here the next day or the next minute. And life is going so fast. This is already the end of February of 2019. We're going to be in March. It's crazy how time is flying, and if you look up and time has passed you by because you ain't did nothing or you ain't... Uh, I tend to do nothing. One thing that I'm, that I really, one thing that I really do not want to do when I get to probably, I don't know, 60 or whatever, I do not want to have a lot of regrets. I don't want to be at the end talking about what I should have, could have, would have done. You know, if you don't take any risk, this is a risk right now because people may not even watch this. People may have things to say. What I'm learning is, you know, it doesn't matter what people think and say. If it feels right and good to you, you do it. Then this feels right and good to me. So, um, get you something like that stimulates you. I found this little thing. It's called right, the poem. I got. I found this at um, Five Below. And you write poems like based on these topics. Excuse my fingernails too. And they give you words to start with. So, I'm going to use this. Because I really think this is a very, very resourceful i can't wait to use that so yeah if you're into anything like that let me know 
Um, cause I am thinking about coming out with my own line of, um, journals, stuff like that, because it helps me and it helps somebody else. So yeah, the, th the moral of the story is have hope, grow, be open-minded, don't be a clone, and life gets better life gets better and try to find your purpose that's huge because if you don't know what your purpose is if you feel like you, if you don't have a, if you don't ugh, i guess i'll tell them. if you do not think you have a purpose or if you don't if you if you think you just born here to dog on walk around for 40 50 60 years and work and die you need some stimulation you need some mental stimulation if you really think that. Um, so, yeah, we all have a purpose. Try to discover yours. And when you do, dive head in first. You know? And, um, yeah, it's going to be okay. Uh, it will be okay. And, you know, as I'm telling y'all that, I'm telling myself that it will be okay. So, I'm about to go wash my hair out because conditioner is probably hard. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Like I said, for people just coming in, um, I put my email address below. I pinned it. If you got any questions as far as like advice, whatever, you 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 want advice about something, and it could be anonymous because I would never tell nobody your name, you could definitely email me and I will respond to you. If you want me doing the video format, I will. Um, but I'll respond to you because I love helping people. I really do. I, I think I'm here for that. I'm here to help somebody through my, through my, um, through my spirit and through my voice. I really do. So, it is what it is, guys. See you guys later. Hope you guys have a good night. And remember, God loves you. Bye, guys.